Hello there everyone, Icy here, back with another episode of our Star Wars Empire at War, Thrawn's Revenge, Stars Align campaign as the New Republic. That's a mouthful, ain't it? Uh, I just took a moment to look at the galactic statistics real quick, and um, it's, it's not very good for us. We have the least amount of planets out of any faction right now the least weekly income, and we're only just barely above last for military strength. Uh, so we really need to get our act together. Penistar, 42% military strength, does not surprise me, considering they steamrolled us with that uh, Super Star Destroyer in the last episode. But in exchange for that, we managed to take Ord Mantell from the Empire. So basically, we're right back where we were prior to starting this campaign. So without further ado, let's see what we can do here. The Empire conquered... Oh, that's not surprising. The Empire conquered Agamar, which is just a neutral planet. So, um, let's move these back so they don't die if they try to retake Ord Mantell. Let's have Han go up to Arenda, see what he sees up there, and start building up Ord Mantell. Beginning construction. Building started. Um, there is a pretty sizable fleet there. It looks like it's just VSDs though, so I think we could try and take that, and that won't expand our borders too much. Um. Construction complete. Hmm. Do I want to go for this now? I think I could do it. Um, Cardia, do you have any? Reporting in. Yeah, let's get some. Quasars, I think. Construction complete. Um. Quasar reporting for duty, sir. And also, let's get some fleet tenders just to have them for future. Moving there now, sir. Did I just send? Okay. Yeah, let's get some fleet tenders so that we can. Uh, actually have even the slightest bit of survivability. Then while we're at it, Heavy Frigate Shipyard. Um, do we have a capital shipyard anywhere? We, I mean, we have Contrum. I guess that's the closest thing we have to one. All I can really make with that is MC-80Bs, which is not too helpful right now but that's okay um we can grab an mc80 one or two of those and maybe yeah let's just get two mc80s for now and then i i'll feel confident moving into arinda because they do have some Golan platforms here, it looks like. Construction complete. Or trade stations, I'm not really sure, but they have some sort of structures. But as soon as the MC-80s are done, we can move up. Let's see what they have surrounding Arinta. Make sure they don't have anything too rapid they can respond with. That's a little bit of an issue. That's that's not too big of an issue. I think we can make this work. Construction complete. Yep. Let Let's go ahead and do this. Calamari crews are ready. Up to Arinta. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I I thought I saw them add to this fleet, but it doesn't look like they did. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road.
can't wait for them to secretly have double hyper velocity cannons. That'll be fun. <clears throat> okay, so they do have a golem, and then I think it's just their uh, their their base. So nothing too bad. Now let's bring our quasars in. Get our fleet tender here. And then some anti fighter support. And maybe throw our MC 30s up here. These MC 40s, they're MC 30s, yeah. And maybe like an MC40. Forward. And we can have these go up and around. Um, none of these have fighter complements, do they? You have a fighter complement, so you can come in. That should work. How are things down here? Uh, Bing Wings, I need you to actually go bomb stuff. Power shields, please. Yeah. We'll bring in another Mon Cal up here. And I guess some Marauders just to fill up. Fleet cap. Oh wait, that's only 200, not 300. No, stop, stop, stop. Do not push up that far. Power to shields. I think we lost uh, all of our MC-30s up here. Oops. Oh well. We can go ahead and start moving this stuff up. Uh, yeah, our, our little swanky flanky fleet up there is done so. But that's okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start moving our forces up. Maybe, you know, have our fighters like the most important part of our fleet lineup actually do their jobs, that might be good. Fire, focus fire on engines. Bring these in over here to take care of the, uh, the carrot cruisers. I'm gonna need you to focus fire on the victory because they're moving to re-engage. Uh, go for the engines on the Tom Felt. And then uh, I guess we can start getting some bombers. Oh no, they're retreating. Your engines are dead. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That was a pretty painless space victory. Uh, we lost all those MC-30s. Uh... All things considered, I think that's a fair trade, so I'm happy. We can... Ooh, the Empire and the Pennant Star are fighting over this planet bunch. I'm a little bit afraid of them retaliating. Uh, do we have any Bothans? No. Let's get a Bothan real quick. And then back here, 
get some MC30s to replace the ones we lost. And over here, get some more MC40Bs. Chirinda, we can... Ch Chirinda? <laughs> the wrong planet. Chimpala. We can get a little bit more ground forces ready to go. Vehicle in production. Yeah, let's get some artillery. And then as soon as the boss ends up, we can check Orinda. See what danger we have to deal with on the ground. Um. Okay, we can... Oh, no, they have an ATAT here. Two ATATs here, okay. Oh, Arenda's their capital. I don't know if I feel like dealing with that right now, actually. That would deal a serious blow to them, but I, I don't know. Uh, I really, I don't know. I have the means to uh, to take that. Also, the Empire killed Saris, apparently. Fascinating. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's get horses together to go to Org Mentel. I'll try and take it, and I'm going to bring Luke. And well, actually, I don't, know, I don't know if bringing Luke will help right me because they don't really have any infantry. It's all vehicles, and Jedi are just like infantry leaders. So, um, I mean, there's there's always Kyle, but he's just another Jedi, I think. Oh, no, we can move these up to reinforce the fleet that Akbar is commanding. I think Artillery online. we're going to try and take Arinda. I think it's worth a try. I might come to regret that in about uh, 10 minutes. But for now, I want to see what we can make happen. There isn't anywhere that I can build advanced factories yet, which is a little unfortunate. Artillery online. Beginning let's get a mine, and let's get base defenses. Why not? Oh, you can build me stuff. The free runners actually seem pretty good at anti-infantry stuff, so I might bring some. Actually, no. Cancel that. I'm going to get some T1Bs, because T1Bs have flat cannons, and they have a bunch of air support on Arinda. So I think that'll be helpful. And then we'll bring this over to help back up Akbar's fleet, because I don't want that killing us right now. T2B over. Um Yeah, I think if we play our cards right, we could make this work. And we'll send these fleet tenders out just to have them ready. Um, are all of our T2Bs done? No, one more. And the Empire took back Yaga Minor. You know, I'm fine with them both just bleeding resources on each other trying to take Yaga Minor. T2B 
I can see why they're doing it too. Um, this is just a cursory glance, but it looks like Yaga Minor is the only planet in this campaign that can build dreadnoughts. So that would make sense why they're fighting so hard for it. Which is fine with me. Every fleet they throw at each other is something they are not throwing at me. So, that works for me. Um, yeah, I think this will work. Roger. Let's see if we can take over the Imperial Capital in Episode 2, and then cry as they send everything they have back at me. Invasion commencing. Time to die. Yeah. So you can stealth, right? Yes. So I'll be there. I'm gonna have you move. Make the field base if you can. Um Yeah, Let, let's get some plex uh, and sprint and stealth. I understand. Get over there. I'm a little scared of what these stars on the map are. I'm really hoping that they're not like turbo laser towers or something. That would be unfortunate. Construction complete. What's also unfortunate is that Luke's stealth's about to run out, and he's nowhere near where I need him to be. What I'm hoping is that we can just silently take that landing pad and be able to actually uh, get some decent amount of forces in here before we try to take anything. Oh. Uh-huh, fascinating. It sure would be a shame if we brought in some anti-air units. And Luke got here unimposed. Thank you. Ow. That's not very nice. Let's start getting things in here. Wow, this is incredibly not cash money. Where's Luke? I need you to be stealthy. Damn, they really just went, let me, uh, spawn kill you, pretty much. That was a little bit painful. Let's get in a repair pad, I guess. Well, I don't think we'll need a repair pad, because we're making units that can repair. Um, let's get a sensor node, so that we can get our artillery firing. Like so. Ready to roll. Construction complete. Interesting, they're all going for this space. Hmm. 
Um. Roger that. I copy. Why are you Weapon not shooting firing. at that? You have eyes on it. There. Always ready, sir. Reporting. Form up. Well, I thought I got some repair units, but I guess not. Uh, do we have any other build that? No, we do. Look, it's healing. What's healing it? Something has to be. Hmm. I don't know. Let's get in some snow speeders. Fly the snow speeders over there. Bomb the base. Just so it stops spawning garrisons and go from there. Reinforcement point contested. Oh, you know, that's a problem. But we'll make it work. Oh, copy. the snow speeders are here already. I'm I'm smart. I knew that. I copy. Bombardment All out. available. Let's move out. Then we just, you know, kinda casually fly it over there. Call in some bombs and call it a day. <clears throat> Let's go. Uh yeah, let's do it on the Empire Capital first. Keep going. And then this way. I think that was kind of the biggest threat. I'll fall in the bombing run on that. Commencing attack. Over there. Gold Squadron commencing attack. You know, they have an ATAT -AT somewhere. I wonder where it is. At least they should have an ATAT -AT somewhere. I'm not entirely certain where, though. Unit destroyed. Hmm. I do not know, but Let me help you. let's just start moving. There's there. no Find point in me up. sitting around. Excuse me, where are you going? Oh, why are we lagging so bad? Oh god. Reporting. Ready for attack. Unit destroyed. Oh yeah, they have anti-air walkers. I forgot about that. You come 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 back over here. Moving to coordinates. Just sit in this corner and think about your decisions. And by think about your decisions, I mean never go anywhere ever. Give me the tuck. Skywalker here. No, you can't get eyes on that. that why? Oh, okay. You have way too long range. You have absurd long range. Luke, no, Luke. Stop helping, no. All of you, go, go back here. Well, we found their AT-AT. -AT. It would be great if my units just didn't decide to go wherever they wanted. But, okay. I guess that's just how it's gonna be. Awaiting your signal. I'm on it. Come on, man. This way. Understood. I'm going with caution. Tank brigade. We've secured a build pad. Okay. You know, they're all just running back to this health station. Awaiting orders. Spreading out. 
that's a little bit annoying. Reinforcements a little not cash money even. You all go up here, kill this. Stop doing whatever it is you're doing, that's not at all helpful. Let's have these push up this way. Let's go. We'll keep our eyes open. So last we saw the ATAT, -AT, it was somewhere around here. Get out here. Anti-aircraft it's not a problem. AT kill. I've got my approach oh, back. Uh, I can probably bring this in. The ATAT -AT still alive? No. Cool. Be gone, demon. Very fun. Yes, sir. Checking sector. Moving into that area, sir. Bombardment available. Where's your little drone thing? I could use that right now. But we also can just use these. Sacrifice more snow speeders in the name of bombing run. Tight air turrets over there, so send them down this way. Yes, Commander. Right away. Yes, Commander. Oh, that E Web Trooper is going to be a plat an issue. Ready. Me too. Come back here. Kill this. Kill that. That that's a very large issue. Thank you. Standing by, sir. Destination received. Heading in. Heading out. Fall out. Let me guess. Also, no, that's an anti-vehicle turret. Out. That's not too big of an issue. And then let's, let's go. go up there. Engines primed. Standing by. So we can drop that on there. Ready to go. Keep going. I've got a and then we just need to kill this and we should be golden. I would think. We still have a structure up here we have to deal with actually. What, what's up here? Oh, I bet it's the at, -AT spawner. So we actually need to deal with that first. No, it's not. Over there. Okay. Where is it then? Or did we already kill it? Oh wait, no, they didn't have an back factory. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I I can see to this. Reporting. I'm a big stupid idiot head. Destroyed. 
come to me, my bomb and run. Make my life easier. Please, I beg you. Gold Squadron commencing Ready, attack. Scouting location. Executing flyby. Go away from there. Those hurt. Roger that. Unit destroyed. That bombing run went absolutely not where I wanted it. Cool. Okay. Let's send you all back here. Ready. Torpedo launcher mobile, sir. And we're having some rather unnecessary casualties here. Like, let's be real. Artillery online. I copy. In route. Moving to coordinates. Attack that target. Roger that. I copy. Let's just have this run back to base. Assault. It seems like it's mostly just infantry left, thankfully. Which isn't too big of a threat. So we should be able to just clean all of this up with the uh, snow speeders, I think. And eh, maybe not, that's a lot of infantry. I mean, we do <clears throat> conveniently have a lot of anti-infantry vehicles, but still. Oh, nope, get get out of there. No, go away. Anti-air turrets kind of hurt. Actually, they don't kind of hurt. They very hurt. Rather unpleasantly, in fact. This is a very long and drawn out fight, but I think we should be able to win it from the looks of things. Let's push up with these. I think that might be part of the play. Is to start sending our T2Bs up. No, not, not Luke. Actually, yeah, you can go Luke. Because I think it's pretty much just infantry left. Alright, let's send you over here so we can bomb this. Be gone, E-Web thoughts. Go away, Moth Palace thought. Base is under attack. Gold Squadron commencing attack. Standing by. Bombardment available. Oh, and our orbital bombardment's back up. Let's get this stupid mess over with. Please and thank you. Thank you and please. Commander. This took way longer than it had any Moving right to. Forward. I don't know what they could still have that's keeping us from finishing the match. I don't know.
But if nothing else, we can take this landing pad, haul in the rest of our reinforcements, and just poke everything to death. Yes, sir. Unless it's like something over there, maybe. I don't know. We can go ahead and build one of these, though. Call in more things and stuff. Just, you know, really guarantee that we actually win this. Roger that. And that can go ahead and just deploy down there. And... Construction complete. I guess that's that. Let's bring these up here. So we can hopefully right get them healed. Let's bring some soldiers down there actually get a repair station up. <laughs> and we'll see what there is to see over here, because obviously they just have like a single stormtrooper squad just sitting in a corner somewhere. Yeah, it's probably literally just in that field base. I would not remotely be surprised. Ouchies. No, y'all get back here, please. Keep going. This way. Something is healing these up. I don't know what it is, but I appreciate it. So, just send those two over there, and we should be good. I don't want to auto-resolve, because auto-resolve is dumb and likes uh, unfairly doing things. But also, this is really silly, trying to just find this last Stormtrooper squad that's sitting in a corner somewhere. You too. Fly over here. Over there. I'm just gonna drop bombs on every enemy colored thing still on the map. Sure. Scouting location. Executing flyby. Computers locked on target. Initiating sweep. I wonder if it's like this one E web trooper or something stupid like that. What is happening here? There's something stuck under the ground. I'm gonna be annoyed if that's like what it is. Wow, it sure would be cool if my units actually fired back at the things shooting at them. A novel concept, I know. I copy. Moving to the point. Attack that target. Attacking target. I really, well and truly, don't know what they could have left. So I'm just going to auto-resolve it. We've got them on the run. Destroy. And that's why I don't auto-resolve, because we somehow just lost something from that, even though they have literally nothing left. Oh, Empire at War, never change. We lost way more than we needed to to take Arinda, but whatever. We have it now. Capital, mine, 
start getting Building space station put together. I need that reinforced as quickly as possible. And you go ahead and start replacing a bunch of the ground forces we lost. So, a bunch of snow speeders. I know we lost those. Um, Construction complete. How are we doing on uh, resources? No, that's not it. Resources. Yeah, I know. I just I want to know what are okay. So we're good on resources for right now. On pretty much all fronts, it looks like. Reporting in. So also, I guess I'll just throw another mine on there. And I don't know, I guess like some T4Bs, production. maybe Unit some extra artillery. Construction complete. I don't know. Reporting in. I just want to have some sort of ground forces ready to go. Construction complete. Uh, let's put defenses on this. Just because it's going to be one of my frontline planets, I think that would be Beginning a smart thing to do. Constructing unit. Construction complete. They're still Unit fighting over the uh vehicle cancelled. Unit in production. Over the uh tier four unit. shipyard at Yaga Minor. Good. Please continue Reporting to bleed in. your resources for me trying to take that over. Unit in production. Waste Unit each other's time. Make my life easy. So now I'm at a bit of an impasse here, because with any of these planets I take, it means there's going to be a new route into my territory, which is a slight issue, because that means I'm going to need to make an entire third fleet to defend with. Which, I mean, I guess I can do. I'd prefer not to, but I could. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's start putting together a fleet for holding off a third entrance. Oh, you don't have a shipyard at all. And over here, we can get some quasars, some nebulon bees. Some CR 90s and some MC 30s. This is the only like big ish shipyard I have, so deal with that for now. And then where do we want to push in next? I still want to get Dan Tween connected to our territory somehow. And I think the most straightforward way to do that would be Agamar? But at the same time, um, that lightsaber you just saw flashing there means that... Uh, the Penistar just tried to take Agamar, which is a slight issue. Mon Calamari crews are ready. But let's get this fleet ready to go at Chimpala. Proceeding to location. Moving the same grid coordinates, sir. Just like as a uh Ooh, they captured Generis. Interesting. The Empire's actually pushing back the Penistar, which is surprising me because the Penistar have an SSD at their disposal. Mon Calamari crews are 
Let's take Han around and just see what's going on. Nothing really there. I mean, they have a good deal of ISDs sitting around and detectors sitting around. Well, I don't think they have one of their own, do they? An SSD? I don't think so. Come on, Chewie. Are you an SSD hero? No, you're a fighter squadron. Easier than the Kessel Run. We can do that. Ooh, that's a little bit of a scary fleet. What are you doing in Agamar? There's nothing here. I'm so confused. Come on, hmm. Oh, that's a scary stack. Hmm. Easier than the Kessel Run. Do they have anything like gearing up to invade Dantwain? I don't do think that. so, but. It's always good to check. Come on, Chewie. I wonder where Kane is. Easier than the Kessel Run. There's no way Kane's dead, right? But the fact that I can't find him anywhere is a little alarming. There's no way Kane's dead. Hmm. We can do that. Come back home, Han. Lactic faction statistics. Hmm. There, there's no way that the Empire killed Kane. But I don't know where he could be. I'm really kind of stumped here, gang. But at least now we have a small fleet put together, should we need it. I'll get some extra you in there, just in case. Um, I kind of want to see if I can get in on whatever the hell is going on at Agamar. Or actually, maybe not, because I just realized what time it is. It's, uh, we've been recording for a long time now. So, uh, I think we're going to call it quits for here right now, so I'm not making an hour and a half long video. Uh, thank you all for listening to my rambling this time around. I know there wasn't that much fighting going on. But, uh, the next episode, we're going to see if we can take Agamar and figure out what the hell has happened to Kane. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.